When three women in Burkas saw a young woman wearing Western clothing, they tried to strong arm her into putting on a hijab. However, instead of complying, the fiery young woman made them wish they had minded their own business. A trio of Sharia law enforcers received a dose of their own medicine when they tried to force a courageous young woman to wear a mandatory hijab at a metro station in Tehran, Iran. Photo credit, YouTube, as Islam grows, so does the oppression that demarcates its strict laws. Such is the case with Iran, which, until the 1970s, held values and freedoms comparable to the modern-day West. With the rise of Islamic mullahs, the once progressive nation quickly descended into yet another draconian Sharia regime in which religious minorities and women are the most suppressed classes. Under Sharia law, not only are Muslims required to fulfill their countless religious compulsions, but anyone who wishes to live free of Islamic obligation is forced to recognize its superiority. Perhaps the most notorious aspect of this is the recent fight against the compulsory hijab, for which courageous Persian women have gained international attention for risking life and liberty. With the rise of political Islam, the Iranian government has granted authority to certain Sharia-compliant women to enforce press of legislation regarding the Quran's command that females must cover themselves in the presence of men. Recently, these burqa-clad morality police officers, who often resort to brutality against their victims, confronted a young woman for failing to comply with the strict Islamic dress code. What they discovered is that resistance against Islam is growing among the Iranian people. While aggressively confronting a young woman about her illegal and Islamic Western clothing at a metro station in Tehran, three burqa-clad morality police female enforcers received a deserved dose of their own medicine after their intended victim fought back, kicking one of the officers in the stomach and chasing them off, the Daily Mail reports. The officers were indignant that the young woman was wearing form-fitting clothing without a legally required hijab. I will wear whatever I like. It's none of your business. You aren't my parents, she says in the clip as she chases them down the platform. The enraged woman then boots one of the officers, sending her running away in fear before screaming at them, You've corrupted this society with your ways. One of the fleeing enforcers turns to call the young woman a B asterisk TCH before cautiously backing away. It was then that a male metro operator steps in to defend the young woman, ordering the morality police that they shouldn't intervene. Since dress codes requiring hijabs and loose-fitting clothing for women were mandated in 1979, female morality police have been enforcing the law with violence. Women are often harassed, beaten, and jailed for refusing to wear the compulsory headscarf in accordance with Sharia law. In February, enforcers arrested 29 women for refusing to wear the mandatory hijab in public while protesting the law. In May, morality police officers were captured on video beating a woman after they deemed her red hijab insufficient coverage. The punishment for women failing to properly cover their hair in public is a fine of $25 and a jail term of up to two months in an Iranian prison. Disturbingly, some incarcerated women are beaten, raped, and killed in prison by Iranian guards. Despite westernized Muslims assuring us that these oppressive laws aren't requirements of Islam but merely an interpretation of Sharia, the Quran is clear in its subjugation of women. Aside from mandating how women are to dress and behave, the Quran maintains that Allah has granted men total dominion over women and encourages them to use mental and physical violence against disobedient women. Quran 2431 and tell the believing women to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts etc and not to show off their adornment except only that which is apparent like palms of hands or one eye or both eyes for necessity to see the way or add or dress like veil gloves head cover apron etc and to draw their veils all over jubahina i.e. 
their bodies, faces, necks and bosoms, etc. Quran 33-59 Tell thy wives and thy daughters and the women of the believers to draw their cloaks close round them. Quran 434 Men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other and what they spend for maintenance from their wealth. So righteous women are devoutly obedient, guarding in the husband's absence what Allah would have them guard. But those wives, from whom you fear arrogance, first, advise them, then if they persist, forsake them in bed, and, finally, strike them. But if they obey you, once more, seek no means against them. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted and grand, like all other Islamic countries, Iran is a harbinger of what's to come for the West if we continue to import an ideology that perpetuates such oppression and violence. What was once a thriving, progressive nation on the verge of democracy devolved into a Sharia wasteland within just a few decades. Through mass migration, indoctrination in our schools, and a much higher birth rate, Islam threatens the same to our nation. Facebook has greatly reduced the distribution of our stories in our readers' news feeds and is instead promoting mainstream media sources. When you share on social media, however, you greatly help distribute our content. Please take a moment and consider sharing this article with your friends and family. Thank you.